So today I'm going to be bringing you an interview guys. We've got another YouTuber, YouTuber I spoke about recently who if you're not watching, you should definitely check him out. We're going to be talking about his experience as he's still fairly new to Redbubble and he's doing very well. And yeah, pretty much talking about that. Make sure to watch the whole video. This is going to be a good one. And please, please drop a like if you're ready for this one. And let's get straight into it. Hi guys, my name is Phil and welcome to the Money Game YouTube channel. For anyone that's new around here, I make print on demand content to both motivate and to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can improve your print on demand shops. If you're new to the channel and you're looking to learn how to make some extra money online, make sure to hit that subscribe button with the bell notifications turned on. And if you don't already know, down in the description, I have a free print and demand guide that will show you a lot of the information that helped me to make my first few sales online through sites like Redbubble. And for anyone looking to maybe turn this into more of a full-time thing, I also have a paid step-by-step -step guide that's linked down in the description. With that said, we've got a special guest in this video for you guys. And yeah, do you want to quickly introduce yourself? <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Jack, and you might have seen me on Phil's other videos. He actually shouted me out, shout out to Phil for shouting me out in his video, and yeah, I'm just excited to be here, pretty much. And yeah, we're gonna be going through some questions with Jack. I mean, it's good to have him on the channel, and within the Redbubble community, if you don't know him, like I said before, you should definitely check out his video. He's posting pretty much every day. I'm pretty, you're yeah. posting every day, aren't you? Yeah, every day, every day. And every day. It's not just on Redbubble, he's on other print on demand sites, which we're going to talk a little bit about. And yeah, with that said, we're going to jump into the question. So the first question I have here for Jack is, uh, firstly, what got you into Redbubble? It's a two part question. So what got you into Redbubble and what made you feel as if it was something with a future? All right. So pretty much I got into Redbubble like a little while back in August and what got me into Redbubble was like a video popped up on my screen full print on demand tutorial and I didn't even know what print on demand was at that time but I watched the tutorial and they they basically advertised Redbubble merch by Amazon and Teespring like those platforms so that's when I got into Redbubble and that was like kind of the main platform that I started with because it's it's like free to enter right mm -hmm. you don't have, there's no like you don't have to make any sales for them to drive traffic like Teespring, you don't have to wait for an application. So like, that's when I really just got started with Redbubble. And that was like back in August. And mm -hmm. yeah, fast forward four months and I got like 2000 designs up. So that's pretty much, pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Right, guys, like I always tell people to try to get to a hundred designs. People struggle to do that. Jack has hit over 2000 <laughs> designs since august that's crazy man I, I don't know how you do it wow <laughs> 20 a day <laughs> that's crazy at least you're consistent i mean that goes yeah. a long way and um how long would you say it took you to get your first sale on redbubble uh it actually took me i think august 6th i posted my first like i didn't start off like going 20 a day i kind of had to figure things out and now i've scaled it back but Pretty much, it took me, I think, six days or a week to make my first sale. Mm -hmm. And I sold a t-shirt with, like, a design that pretty much looked like, like, I wouldn't buy it. I don't I think it was good. It was <laughs> one of my first designs, but it took me, like, six days, and I sold it on a t-shirt. <laughs> so, that's, yeah. the, that's the thing with Redbubble. I mean, it's a good thing that you've mentioned that, because a lot of people, for some reason, they think that, if they make a design, it might not sell if it doesn't look good enough. But at the end of the day, we never know what the customer is going to want to buy. And a question that I see floating a lot around the community. So which do you think is better, quality or quantity? Ooh, so this is a tough question because mm -hmm. like recently, as you know, quantity, 2000 designs in four months, that's kind of favored towards quantity, but mm -hmm. I've noticed that if I can do like 10 designs a day in the same amount of time, I get like really high quality designs and like not high quality, like hours each design, but like mm -hmm. focusing on quality a little bit more and not sacrificing it completely. Cause 2000 designs, like a lot of my designs, they aren't anything crazy. I use like place it. So some yeah. of them are actually really good, but a lot of them are very similar. Like I'll like just change a few words, change like a graphic. So I think, I think there's a mix almost there and it also depends on the person because like everyone needs to test their own ways, right? Everyone's going to have different things that works for them. 
but quantity is definitely important especially when you're starting out to get mm -hmm. like get your listings in front of people and test things but quality is also like equally important in my mind like so i don't think there's really like a direct answer to that question but that's true it depends experience. on the person i mean yeah. like for people that do like graphics or that do drawing quality might be a little bit better but for anyone who's just, just trying to grow on redbubble trying to get sales quantity will allow you to see what's working what's not working and yeah i mean you're right in what you're saying there and um another question that this is something once again a lot of people are always pointing towards so besides redbubble what other platform do you enjoy using? So what's your next best platform to use? So Redbubble is like, I love Redbubble, but recently I've actually taken a lot of my designs over to Etsy and I'm really liking Etsy. Etsy's like, it's a bit more work, yes, but I think Etsy's like, it's like 200 million or I think 300 million now. It's been like oh, blowing up. Top like five. monthly visitors. Yeah, it's crazy. And it costs a bit of money to post on Etsy, but there's a trade-off of like, you get seen really easily on Etsy. And I'm still like, I'm still figuring it out. I'm only like a month or two in, but I think there's some like massive potential there. And I'd say that's probably my second favorite platform, but T Public, I like T Public. It's very similar to Redbubble. So I just pretty much post my same designs over there and like think it let it do its thing. But Etsy's like my second favorite, I think for sure. That's, that's a great answer. I mean, Etsy is one that I've silently been using. I don't really talk about it much, but yeah. yeah, Etsy is very, very easy to get recognized on. And they also do have like paid ad options yeah. that are really cheap. So yeah, Etsy is, yeah, hundred percent agree. It's definitely something that's easy to use. And uh, the final question and one I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to take in uh, is so pretty much what motivates you to work as hard as you do, not just with Redbubble, but with everything. Cause you're posting every single day on YouTube, 20 designs plus a day on Redbubble and you're jumping onto other platforms. What's your motivation, Jack? So a few months back when I first started print on demand, I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't really know where I was going, but I did like have a goal subconsciously and I wrote it down at one point. Mm -hmm. but uh that i wanted to like i wanted to make a living from my own i didn't want to like work a nine to five job i wanted to kind of make money for myself like make my own businesses and that was like the main goal so every day i just think like all right well if i don't want to work a nine to five job there's some stuff i'm gonna need to do every day <laughs> to exactly. build uh, towards that and actually was in my third year of college withdrew from my last semester of college and now i'm just doing this full-time print and demand youtube everything online and my main motivator is probably just the fact that uh now i don't have a backup plan which is kind of a good thing in mm -hmm. a way and i know everything's gonna be i know everything's gonna be all right either way no matter what happens so that's the main thing but focusing on like that goal of like okay i want to i want to make something for myself and i know what it takes to get there so like every day i get up and I'm like okay gotta do this gotta do that and it's like it's like go time but i'm excited about it it's not like a it's not like I don't want to do it. I want to do it. So I think that's the main thing is you have to want to do it and like kind of build that desire to almost like you like want to wake up and you mm -hmm. want to go make designs on Red Bull, stuff like that. Exactly. And your future self will thank you for the work that you're doing. Yeah, Most people sure. like to obviously think going nine to five is the only way. I know for other people, that's the situation they're in. But if you're watching this and you're in that situation, trust me, you can definitely yeah. get out of that. It's up mm. to you and your two hands to put in the work and make things happen. But yeah, it was great having you on the channel, Jack. Is there anything you want to say to finish it off? One last thing I do want to say is that uh, something that I heard, I read, I've been reading quite a bit of books, but one mm -hmm. thing that really stuck with me was that you don't pay for, uh, you don't pay to get to success. You mm -hmm. reap the benefits really. So like Phil said, your future self will thank you. And I really think that like, that's the mindset you need to take on this. And I wish you guys all the best in everything you do, honestly. Perfect. I mean, for anyone who's made it to this point of the video, in fact, I'll, I'll let you pick what people should put down in the comment section. What should they say in the oh, comments? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, this is, you put me on the spot. Let's see. It could be linked I to think, what you've just spoke about. Oh, I don't know. Okay believe 
as a believe. believe. Perfect. I love that. So yeah, if you've made it to this point of the video, down in the comment section, put down believe, and I will try to respond to as many <laughs> people as I can. And guys, <laughs> always remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success. <laughs> <laughs>